Masks. It's been eight months, eight months in, all the turmoil, and we're still in this mess. Masks evolved from weird things like scarves to people wearing surgical masks and removing them drastically as if they were in a Grey's Anatomy video. Well, whatever the case, there are many misconceptions I would like to clear up, such as, can I use my scarf as a mask? Can I use an N95, a surgical mask, or a cotton mask? If everyone is wearing a mask and I don't have COVID symptoms, why should I wear a mask? And will the mask be the end of me? Number one, can I wear my scarf as a mask? The answer is no. The material of a scarf is woven very loosely, which means that there are many pores for the microorganisms to come in through. Number two, which mask should I wear? Should I wear an N95? Should I wear a cotton mask? Or should I wear a surgical mask? So, an N95, as the name implies, it has a 95% filtration rate, which means that it will filter most of the particles out, meaning that it is the best type of mask. A cotton mask. A cotton mask is made out of cotton. This means that the material is loosely weaving. So, usually you'd need more than one layer to make it safe. Cotton as a material is best at keeping water particles out from entering your system. But unlike an N95 mask, it cannot filter out aerosols. These are particles suspended in air. So if these particles are present in the air, if the COVID is present in air, it will not filter them well, which is why we need more than one layer. A surgical mask. So. As the name implies, this is used during surgery. This is worn by all the personnel um, within the theatre as to create a sterile environment. This is to protect the person, the patient undergoing surgery. As the surgical mask comprises mostly out of nylon, the woven pattern of nylon is very closely knit compared to cotton or any other material which we are trying to use for scarves, which means that we will have a better chance of preventing the contraction of a virus such as COVID. Unfortunately, if the particles are aerosols, they can move in or out. But if they are water suspended, the nylon will create a barrier. Number three, if everyone is wearing a mask and I don't have COVID symptoms, why should I wear a mask? So, as we said, masks stop things from going in and out. So as COVID can be asymptomatic, which means that you do not feel any symptoms of COVID, you may actually be carrying COVID. So it is quite irresponsible not to wear a mask. Four, will my mask be the end of me? Why are people thinking that a mask will be the end of me? Well, the misconception is here because people think or may think that the mask is keeping in our toxins. The main excretory systems in our body are the liver and the kidneys, not the lungs, okay? We excrete most of the things through urine or other excretory products. The main purpose of our lungs is to absorb oxygen. This is readily transferred to the muscles and to our organs. Along with the oxygen we all, in the air, we also breathe in carbon dioxide. We ourselves create metabolically carbon dioxide, which we excrete out to our lungs. Also, if you suffer from conditions such as asthma, COPD or emphysema, it is more important to wear a mask. This is as if you have a lung problem, if you have a pulmonary disease, you're probably going to have a more difficult relationship with COVID. So, I know you've heard this a million and one times, but I'm going to show you how you should wear a mask. So. This is my model, his name is Arthur, and I'm going to be showing you on him. So, first you should look at your surgical mask and see that it is intact. Okay, you see that there are no present holes in the mask, okay, and that it is not soiled. You should place the mask against your nose and pinch the metallic part to the shape of your nose, so it will close any gaps. Place the ear loops after behind your ears and slide the mask underneath your chin. So there's a really cool way to check if your mask has a leak. So wear your mask the way you think is right and go next to a piece of chocolate cake. If you can smell the cake, your mask has a leak. Enjoy the cake afterwards. So that's all I have to say about masks.
stay safe. My name is Martina. See you in the next episode. Thank you.